Hello. <clears throat> this video is going to be the first one in a sequence of videos about the reactivity of carboxylic acid derivatives with carbon and hydrogen nucleophiles. Um, and then generally, I just want to, you know, discuss sort of what, what we mean here. There's a pretty decent chance that <clears throat> you have studied the reactions, say, of esters with carbon nucleophiles like Grignard reagents. It'll be a generic Grignard reagent here for the moment. You know, following uh, aqueous workup. And, and you recognize that these reactions form tertiary alcohols where two of the uh, alkyl groups on that alcohol come from the Grignard reagent. <clears throat> and we're going to end up talking about this reaction and, and, and other similar ones throughout the you know, throughout the this the sequence of videos. But I'm going to abstract it out now to general carboxylic acid derivatives where there are a variety of things that can fill this leaving group role X. And after initial substitution, you can imagine forming the ketone initially. I'm going to put the ketone in brackets because depending on whatever X is, um, you know, let's choose a different letter because I have X in the Grignard reagent. Let's use Y. Depending on whatever Y it is, you could get a ketone. <clears throat> well, and in the case of the Grignard reagent, you're going to get the ketone and then you can get the tertiary alcohol. But we're going to talk about some other carbon nucleophiles uh, that are out there. So something that is an R group that is nucleophilic, so some R nucleophile, can it stop at the ketone? And that's going to depend a little bit on what Y is and what uh, our, our nucleophile is. <clears throat> Similarly, there's a fair chance in, in learning about the chemistry of the alcohols and ways you can synthesize them, you may have already encountered the reaction of lithium aluminum hydride with esters to form primary alcohols by adding uh, two hydrogens here. And though with different hydride reducing agents, you might suspect there is a possibility, depending on Y in the nucleophile, that you might be able to stop at the aldehyde. aldehyde. Okay. Can't stop the aldehyde. And so that's going to depend, as I said, a little bit on the nucleophile and a lot on the carboxylic acid derivative. And so <clears throat> in the next, so this, this video here just sets up the frame of what's going to happen. Uh, with Grignard reagents and other organometallic carbon nucleophiles, some combinations might stop at the ketone, while others are going to react again to form the alcohol. And with hydride reducing agents, some combinations will stop at the aldehyde, while others might go on and react, and I need these to be hydrogens, to, to form the alcohol. In the next video, We'll, we'll set up some of the framework in comparing reactivity, uh, and then we'll get on to specific combinations of, of reagents and derivatives. Thank you for watching.